Hey, what's going on YouTube? Kappa FBV here, and today we're going to be doing the video that everybody's been dying to see. We're going to finally tear down the DJI goggles. Now, this is just a warning. This will void your warranty. Doing this is extremely hard. It's like a 10 out of 10. Background on me, I've owned my own cell phone store for the past nine years and I repair cell phones. I'm a certified cell phone repairman. So this type of thing is kind of just second nature to me. I do the DJI repairs on drones and things like that. So this is just right up the alley. If you want to check out my cell phone videos, it's I Repair Doctor, but. Hello? Sit back and watch, and this is going to be part one of three. Part one, I'm going to tear it down. Part two is going to be a surprise, and part three is going to be like, is it going to work? So now what we're going to want to do is take our 1.5 and remove the side screws here. Pull the antennas off. Now what we're going to want to do is see if we can get in there and, you know, pry this side apart and kind of get that top piece of the goggles to come free. Be very careful because the flex cable can get damaged easily if it gets a nick or a crease in it. Chances are it's not going to work again. So treat it very 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 carefully on something like this where we're going to take it unscrew it and 
pop the flex connector off, I like to re put the screws back in the same spot so we can find those spe specific ones easily. We're going to remove these last three screws that go deep in the bezel on the top half. Once we remove the front cover, there will be a couple more screws that we'll have to take out. And if you notice the way I'm putting these screws out, they're kind of in the same generalization of if you're holding the goggles in your hand where they would go back in. But 90% of these are the same size screws. What we're going to need to do here is try to get that bottom piece of the bezel popped up. It's just a thin little piece, but there's a bunch of screws hidden underneath there. Um, the easiest way I was able to find is use just a pry tool to get up under there. Once you take it off, you'll see that there is a, you know, a couple more Allens hidden deep down inside. Once you get the last screw out, you'll be able to just pull the front bezel piece right off and you'll be able to start seeing the inner workings of it. Now there's still more screws, believe it or not, hidden deep down behind here. You're going to have to kind of really look around for them. Once you pull this last screw off, you should be able to pull this 
bottom piece of the bezel out. So there is screws hidden behind the rubber flap in between the two eye pieces. You're going to notice one by your nose piece and then one above that one. You definitely have to move the flap to get in there to be able to get them out. The screws I'm removing here are for the, are for the LED piece on the side. So this will be your channel selector and the display. What I use here is a plastic pry tool to just pop the pop connector off. Just be careful, you know, you can damage the pop connector. Now I'm going to be pulling the last screw out of the main goggle module, I guess you can call it. Now with that screw out, you have to be very def very careful with it because now we have the antenna wires for all four antennas still wrapped in there and we're going to have to try to wiggle it out through those antenna wires because I didn't really want to pop the antenna part apart. I'm removing the side piece where you hook up power and your video and audio connections. Again, be very careful because it does have another flex cable that we'll have to disconnect and make sure we do not damage. slowly work this out you do not want to rush this part because if you push too hard you could essentially damage the screens that you know show the this the display um, you could damage some antennas there's a lot to damage right here if you notice I have to disconnect the antennas from around the assembly and pull it off to one side so that I can take the, the antenna brackets that are attached to the inside of the goggles and disconnect those pieces. It seemed like the easiest way on any of the connecting pieces or flex cables or whatever was kind of the way I have it holded just as if it was in with it just turned out a little bit.
once you have it out, you can remove it out, put it off to one side, and you can see how crazy this thing looks, and it's kind of wild. They have a lot going on and a lot crammed in there. Well, that's basically the full teardown. Uh, stay tuned for part two, and we'll see what I do. There's some craziness, maybe. Maybe not. If you want to see what's going to happen, hit that subscribe button. If this video you thought was cool, hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Later.